Hello and welcome to All oh My Mods. Mods! Today we're going to be servicing the Honda. So, Giro, yeah. what are you doing today? What parts are you going to use and maybe tell us what are they for? So, we're just going to be doing a yearly service, so just a basic one today. Did you just say uh, yearly? Yearly. Yearly. <laughs> yearly. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so just the oil change. Got some Castrol Edge oil. Obviously, we're along with that, we're doing an oil filter. Uh, what's that? Just the Bosch. Oh yeah, the basement one. Yeah, good, good. So far. And then a Crossland air filter. Really? Is, it's just, a, I think, a pattern. But Tell you what. What? I think my oil alone costs more than your whole service pack. How much did my you pay alone. for it? Oh yeah, don't forget as well. NGK spark plugs. As so. Well. My a little right, five liters of oil of mine. Yeah, is about sixty quid. Yeah. How much did you pay for your whole service pack? About sixty quid, and that's only because Euro Car Parts had a thirty percent off sale. Damn it! Because <laughs> um, it's been a couple of years since I've changed it. Just a cabin filter as well. What's that for? What's that for? Yeah. You know the air that when you turn on your fan. Yeah. In the cabin, the air comes in. It gets filtered out. Really? Yeah. Has yours never been changed? I don't even know where it is. <laughs> okay, so I'll just uh, go through the tools that we're using today. A spanner and socket set to undo the various nuts and bolts, including a spark plug socket. Uh, we'll show you later on what's special about that. And then a jack and axle stands to lift the car up just to get to the oil filter and uh, sump plug, as well as a set of oil filter pliers to undo the oil filter and a bucket just to something to drain the oil or oil, old oil in. So what are you doing with the old oil then? Um, it goes in my local recycling centre. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Let me show you. Let me show you. See this? What does it say here? Recycling. <laughs> <laughs> we got a blue one for recycling. <laughs> That's even worse than you don't even recycle it, do hey? you? You don't even recycle it. Recycle what? The oil. Yeah, it goes in my local recycling centre. Ah, is Down that McDonald's road. you mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I know where it goes. Where does it go? Burger King, when they make the black burgers. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the Halloween special, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, cool. let's, let's get to it then. Let's get to it. We start by getting underneath the car and draining the oil. Locate the sump plug bolt and begin to undo. Once it's on its last few threads, have the bucket ready to catch the oil. When it's fully drained, you can put the bolt back. At this point, it would be a good idea to use a torque wrench just to prevent over tightening. Next task is to locate and remove the oil filter. Ours is located on the back of the block, just above the sump. Again, have the bucket ready to catch the oil. So, new oil filter. Put a bit of oil just around the gasket. Top tip. Screw on the new filter and tighten by hand. Now we can lower the car back down and fill her up with new oil. So I just made a DIY funnel out of an old bottle. Make it easier for the oil to go in. This particular engine requires 3.7 litres of oil. I play close attention to how much I've poured in with the scale on the side of the bottle and then double checking using the dipstick. Hard to see, but you can just about see it. There, just about under max. Next, we move on to the air filter. So there's uh, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven bolts. Seven bolts to take out. Holding in, yeah. Some cars, they have the clips, don't they? Oh, yeah. Which is, that's it, a bit easier. Or if you have a Mercedes, yeah. they have Torx screws or whatever they call it. Oh, them, yeah. They might be German screws. Germans. Take it off. It's not that dirty, look. No, it's alright, isn't it? It's alright, yeah. So, air comes in here, goes in, does a, does a little dance inside this resonator. Comes what's in. that's dancing? <laughs> yeah. So what, it basically goes in there. It goes in there, does a bit of dancing around in here. And then, and then goes out of here, into the filter, yeah. which forces out all the crap. As you can see, look, there's a bit of... Yep. It stops uh, dirty. Oh, and that's your throttle body straight away. That's throttle body, yeah. filter changed moving on to the spark plugs remove the VTEC yoke cover unbolt and unclip the wire harness before removing the core packs right so spark plug socket it's a deep socket and it's got a rubber grommet inside that's what's special about it so you can grip onto the spark plug when you take it out and drop it inside Put it in the hole. Insert the socket with the extension inside and undo. Make sure to have the correct size socket for your car. Okay guys, spark plugs are a very good sign of telling us if the engine is running lean or rich. At the moment, when you look at this, he removed it from his engine. Nice and clean, nothing too white, nothing too black. It's pretty much how it should look in like. Over here, I'm gonna show you a picture where it's gonna be a, an engine that runs rich and you can see how black the whole the whole um, spark plug is and then now if we change to show you another engine which is running lean it's gonna have a very wide spark plug and everything is all burnt basically lastly what you wanna check is that the distance between your ground electrode and the central electrode is within the specified tolerance and if you buy the spark plugs from NJK most of them are pre-gapped so you don't have to check it so I do recommend to check it, but again, he chipped out on a one pound lever set, so... Feel Anyways. a gauge. <laughs> Is it... Feel, feel, feel a gauge, yeah. So what's the lever set? Lever sets? Yeah. I don't know. What is a lever set? I don't set? know. <laughs> Why? But yeah. Making up words again. <laughs> yeah, but that's how you check it with a feel a gauge. Yeah, so you, yeah. you put it in between there. Yeah. And you just feel it. Ah, that's why they call it filler gauge, because you feel it. You feel it, yeah. <laughs> when inserting the new spark plugs, always thread it in by hand before tightening. At this point, a torque wrench would be useful, but if you don't have one like us, you can tighten the spark plug using the top part of the ratchet to prevent over tightening. Lastly, the cabin filter. Uh, oh yeah. Got any condoms in there? No. No condoms? Oh yeah, look. Bird control pills. <laughs> Pregnancy test. <laughs> what the hell is the lighter doing in there? Right. See you. one and then there's another one because Honda there we go that's a new one wow look at the difference between the two of them yep so let's literally pull it out and then put the new one in make sure it's aligned properly it's just right in like that. Same with the other one. Yeah. This is something people don't even bother to change, do they, Pat? I don't even know where is mine. You don't even know where yours is. <laughs> it, it's either... Well, we've seen Honda's is behind here, and then I think some of them, some other cars have it under the skull panel. Mm -hmm. So it just depends, really.
What you want some makeup? Yeah, some mascara, no? <laughs> <laughs> Got to look good, you know that. Uh, you know our budget's not that much, right? <laughs> So did we, what did we achieve today? What did we achieve today? We, we okay, let's say this. We, we learned Honda. that the Honda service and the oil filter in a, such an awkward position, yeah. it should not be allowed to be on the car. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. I should get get it, um, what's it called? Put Relocation. It real, real like yes, it, didn't yes, yeah. yes, you yeah. might do that on yeah. the new engine perhaps. Yeah. The other thing, you cannot fill the oil, the new oil filter, with oil again because it's horizontal. So, so the idea is that when you change the oil filter, you put the new oil into the new oil filter, you soak it all up, and then you attach it to the engine. But because his Honda is so awkward, <laughs> it's fing horizontal, you can't do that because when you do it horizontally, everyone knows what happens. So, okay. your car sucks. <laughs> Wait, so what did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> You'll see it on the video. <laughs> I will, yeah. Alright, cool. So that was just oil oil filter, oil was changed, butt plug and air filter. That's basically We it. learned that there's a pollen filter, no uh, cabin filter. We learned pollen filter, cabin filter, yeah, yeah, same thing, yeah. That every car should have I think. <laughs> yeah. I think I d I don't know if all cars have it. I think all cars with air conditioning. Yeah, but mine has air conditioning as yeah, well. Yeah, so yours has it as well. Yeah. And it so, works. And it works. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, mine doesn't work. Mm. <laughs> and it's so it's so annoying. I'll pro by the time I get it fixed, it's probably summer's probably going to be over. So, all right. So what else did we do? Um, right, air filter, oil filter, and oil, and spark plugs. That's basically what's included in a basic service it's done every year. Or Honda recommends every twelve thousand miles. Such a hypocrite. He has a uh, he has a torque wrench, yeah. and he didn't use it. Oh no. <laughs> and just hand man, that's my talk friend. <laughs> um, and then, I mean, what else he could do? Pollen filter, that's easy every yep. two years. Uh, fuel filter. Uh, yeah, we haven't done the fuel filter. Fuel filter, filter. Uh, that's every two years, we won't do that today. Okay. Um, we'll do that another time. And, well, the fluids as well, that's usually part of the service, isn't it? Usually. Nobody changes that. No. Gearbox oil, power steering fluid. I need to do actually, and brake fluid is done recently. Uh, but yeah, we'll do that another time. Perfect. Cool. All right. Thank you for watching this episode of All oh oh My Mods. <laughs>